Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour, jumping in again, carrying on with our deleted streaking. People seem to be enjoying it and as am I. It's been a little while since I've recorded some Isaac, so it's good to be jumping back in. And we did Morris last time, so this time we're going as Zip Bomber. No corrupted items, use the extract to re-roll any item while adding a negative effect to it. That's not as interesting, I'm going to go with one that does have corrupted items. No red arts, corrupted effects are concealed, but they provide a damage bonus. Now, this one's fucking wild. <laughs> this one's basically just saying that we could be picking up any old weird garbage, but we get damage for doing it, but it, it's, it es essentially means that you almost guarantee you're going to pick up an item that will ruin your run. So, we'll see. One of the ones that I can think of, an effect that comes up quite often is like, on killing an enemy, spawn another enemy, or on beating a room, spawn a, spawn an enemy, stuff like that. Those can really get out of control very, very quickly. So we'll we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> um, as for the question of the day today, I just had an absolutely lovely meal. I made myself some hunter's chicken uh, with some mac and cheese, and I'm just my question is what what's your favourite pairing of foods? What are two things that you have together or you've tried together that just should always be eaten together? Because mac and cheese and Hunter's Chicken just, oh, they go well together. Um, This is just a very good familiar. So I think I'm just going to take it, take it. Basically, extra poison damage, which is amazing. But it means that all pin enemies are charmed, which is something that I actually like more than the base item itself. Uh, it's very, very useful. Um, there you go, there's one of the pin enemies that it spawns, but it also charms ones that we come across, which I very much like. Okay. Poison, my guy. I'm just gonna let you go across the pond and do your thing. Actually, can you reach? I don't know if you can reach. There you go, he's doing his thing, he's doing his thing. It's all good. Yeah, I gotta say, I do want to corrupt items, but I also, I, I don't want to sacrifice the run as a whole. Also, kind of weird that we get like little swirlies on our cheek for picking up this item. It's like a jigsaw type thing, but it's not jigsaw. Right, anyways, um, I do have two bombs. Considering we're soul heart only, it's basically nece a necessity that we go to this room for three free soul hearts. Oh, well, not free, but it's annoying that I didn't manage to bomb it that last time with the, uh, with the bomb boys, but there you go. Don't know what that trinket is there. I'll be happy to take a little look though if we've got the keys to accommodate. We do, we do. We do we don't have any other bombs. Stone grimaces, um Stony's Grimaces target hostiles. That seems really interesting. That seems really interesting. Okay, pretty happy with that. Good HP. We are good to go, baby. We are good to go, right. Let us defeat our boss. <clears throat> Not a particularly hard one. But yeah, as I said, it's been a little while since I've done some Isaac. I, I kind of backlogged about nine or ten videos and they just didn't record for a little while it was nice to have a little break i think isaac's one of those games that it's kind of entered a similar stage that gungeon has entered for me where I, I i can easily fall off of it i don't dislike recording it i still enjoy it thoroughly but i've been playing it a while like that i can i can i can go through phases of like not being as interested it's not like i don't enjoy the drones i do record but i, I just need need breaks a little more frequently than i used to sort of thing um, so I, t I tend to like to backlog a few videos here and there. Um, so this one's definitely one more corrupt. So yeah, we, we get no idea here. It's bugging out external item descriptions. We take it. We have no idea what we just grabbed. Um, it could be good. It could be awful. Who knows? We will, uh, we will see in due time. Well, we get a pretty fly entering the next floor, which is decent. That's not a bad thing. I don't mind that, and obviously we gained a damage up off the back of that as well. But winning as this character is quite something. Okay, we managed to gain ourselves uh, quite a lot of knockout drops here. Unfortunately, I don't believe stacking knockout drops um, actually does anything. It doesn't have increase its chance, but it seems that every kill we get, we get uh, we get given another knockout drops. I'm assuming that'll be one that only lasts for the floor, but it might be one that's permanent. We'll see. <clears throat> but as you can see, a lot of items stacking up here. Oh, we got some sort of soul there. Um, not quite sure what that's from. Oh, uh, we got a jetpack going on. This is this has done some weird stuff. We we just have a jetpack now. We're, we're we're gaining little souls when we kill stuff. Not entirely sure what the hell's happening. 
not entirely sure what the hell's happening. But hey her. I mean, maybe if we collect enough of these things, something will happen. I have no earthly idea. But let's just keep plowing through. I mean, I like the fact that we've got a massive speed boost and flight. That's pretty good. Oh, we got a level up. So that that's that's something it's doing for us. I don't know what the level up has done, but we got a level up. Taurus, I definitely want to go for somewhere else. There's our damager. And we got some sort of trinket smelted to us. Some sort of battery, stern battery looking thing. Probably a golem trinket by the looks of it. Intriguing. Okay, take care of you. You're not too hard, especially with knockout drops, it makes things easier. Awesome, you got another level up. Still don't know what that means, really. Um, I would like the luck, soul heart, and keys here. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to take that. And um, we'll go down to the next floor. Cool. Okay, this hasn't got crazy wacky yet, but... This first item we've grabbed is already pretty interesting. This trinket we've got is pretty good too. I like it. Oh, we've got flames. We are setting enemies on fire now. I'm guessing that's part of our uh, level up from our jetpack. Still don't really know what the item jetpack is from. Polaris, I'd imagine. I imagine it's a Polaris thing, but I don't remember it being. Health-wise, things is looking very good. Things are looking very good health-wise, so... Very happy about that. Indeed, I was right. Knockout drops only last for the floor. Um, so we have to regain them all on the next floor, which isn't a big problem. I'll leave that for now. <clears throat> Got our pins coming in. I'm not sure when our next level up will be, or if it'll even be one, or what it'll give us. That's all going to be a mystery to us as well. It does seem that we have this jetpack thing permanently, which is nice. We don't have to re-level it up every time. So we started off, the little circles producing beneath us when we move were originally blue, and now they're red. A data miner is 100% a bit flippable one. Oh, no. Okay, so we gained Pop Pop. We gained Monstrous Lung. Yeah, we gained a lot of items off of the back of that. Wow. Look at look at all the items. We gained a spacebar item. We gained Dog's Tooth, Bleeding Heart, Ghost, um, Ghost Bombs, Halo Flies, Pop Pop, Big Chubby, and Monstrous Lung, and Tractor Beam. All off of that one item. This is... Uh, it's kind of crazy. I mean, it's quite strong. Also... This is particularly quite wild. Particularly quite wild. I do wonder if uh, if Pop Pop is the way to go. Should I be using Pop Pop? I don't think so with my fire rate. I think with my fire rate, Pop Pop's not a great idea. My tears are moving in weird ways. Doing some strange stuff. Go in here, check this out. I will take that. Although George would have been good. We do like George. Get you to a fly and that's fine. What a strange time this is. Go by that. Just keeping my health high, because you never know when something absolutely tragic could happen. <laughs> okay, at least we're keeping him at bay. Knockout drops is knocking him, holding him against the wall. We did manage to get perfection, which is kind of wild. I don't know how long we'll be able to keep it for, but I feel like we should take it. Got some bombs for that, nice. Cool, okay. We got a holy mantle. It's kind of nice. Um, 
There was an Ipecac shot there. I'm not exactly sure where that came from. I think with knockout drops, we should be firing quite a lot of uh, punches. Ah, oh, what have I done? What have I done? Right, uh... More damage. Again, at any moment, we could completely ruin our run here. So we've just got to be aware of that fact. I am loving this this triangle death cube of unholy fists. <laughs> I think we get 0.4 damage for every negative effect. So the higher amount of damage we get, the more negative effects we can assume was on the item. Gulp. Okay. Oh, we just gulp perfection. Unfortunately, that doesn't keep it around forever, sadly. As much as I wished it did. Oh, hello. Uh, I'll take that as it is, to be honest. I was hoping for damage, and we got damage. Lovely. God damn. It does seem that we're at max level. It does seem level 3 was the highest, which makes sense. I never used the world card. I should have used that earlier. Right, where's he popping up his fists? That's a lot of troll bombs, my guy. God damn. Okay, lovely stuff. Okay, world card reveals some good stuff to us. Nice. Not, not so much. I wonder if we're going to get Holy Mantle every floor. I wonder if we've got like a wooden cross in there somewhere or something. Or at least the effect of wooden cross. We'll see. We'll see. But so far, things are going well. Well, that's also very good for when we lose our Holy Mantle. I'll keep that around. Four to six mini Isaacs is always fun. Bomb that up. Lovely stuff. Okay. Oh, there's another Tinted Rock back there as well that I missed. Quickly go and grab that. Dude, the health. The health, man. Small Rock I'll just take. Just good. Also, bees I will just take. Some of these items aren't worth glitching. We've already got some crazy stuff going on. We don't want to go too far off of the deep end. That was close. Enemy kind of spawned underneath me there. I don't know why they're not always fists sometimes. I do have a lot of luck, so it should be. Um, that I will glitch. That I will also glitch. Maybe it's only 0.2 per negative effect, so we got 0.2 damage there. Okay. Or maybe it's 0.2 just per effect in general. We always use a half on entering the room, which is interesting. We gained conjoined. We gained a ton of freezer babies upon entering this room. Like an absolute ton. Okay, we gain two freezer babies. Four. We get a lot of freezer babies for some unknown reason upon entering rooms, which is interesting. With Tractor Beam, though, we ain't displeased. This this massive triangle fist pillar that we keep firing at things is uh, something of pure beauty. And I guess we're going to be freezing a lot of stuff now. That's good. We got here. Go. Extra key, lovely. Oh, keys become sacks. Okay, so we've got an infinite loop going already, which is uh, pretty nice. Those are always uh, always wild. Yeah, we've got an infinite loop going. Or near infinite. All it depends on us is getting one key from our sacks, which is pretty common. We 
We don't need to stay here forever, but I just want to pick up enough stuff to get a baseline of, uh, of things for us. We've got Horror Babylon somehow. I thought I heard a troll bomb in there somewhere. Okay, we've got we've, we've we've got plenty now. Let's try and uh, try and leave with what we came with, which I don't remember what that was. It wasn't worse here. Emperor's good. Is it this over here? Eternity. That's it. Cool. Okay, we've got to be careful about that going infinite too often. Because it could get pretty messy in the room if it goes crazy. Dude, these fists. Man, these fists are beautiful. We've got a lot of horror Babylons proccing, apparently, which is strange. The amount of freeze babies is pretty wild. I think we're going to get that curse thing, like, every single time. We've got some dead onions in there. We've got some random bouncy tears as well. Not quite sure what the bouncy tears are. But they seem to have taken over my regular tears. Interestingly enough. They seem very good. I mean, the, 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 the upside, the upshot of it is, they seem to do a good amount of damage. Okay. Weird. Don't really know what to say. GMO corn is sketchy as all hell. I'll go in here first. Purity's really good. We'll take purity. Keep what I've got going on. Probably should have just taken that trinket because why not? Might as well just gulp it. There you go. Marbles unlocked. Lovely stuff. Right, down we go. Oh, I almost halved myself there. That would have been stupid. Right. I seem to just fire without me needing to fire now. Which is interesting. Also, slightly frustrating to have the Horror Babylon thing going on all the time. But, so many gulp pills. Have we got a specific thing that drops gulp pills. I don't know. Wacky. I think, I think we're at critical mass now. I think we're at the point now where we don't want to be picking up any more items. Which I know is a bit cowardly. But this is actually a run I could win. And that would be kind of interesting. I don't want to trade my any of my items in, thank you. I will leave that as it, as it is, as it stands. It also means we don't have to find item room and stuff, which is kind of nice. Right, just keep moving. We do, like, slowly but surely fill up the room with just these seemingly infinitely bouncy shots that insta-kill anything they touch, which is always a nice bonus. Also, from going infinite in that one room, we no longer have to worry about picking stuff up, which is real good. Ah, container, why not? I've still got this Eternity card just on back, sort of, just there in case we uh, lose our current Holy Mantle that we've got. I'm not even sure how we got our current Holy Mantle. Like I said, it might be a wooden crossing, we might get one off law. Um, so we might not need the card, but the card's there just as backup. I will take that. Right. Good, good. I just like the way we can fill a room slowly but surely with all these shots and then wait for whatever happens next. I don't I don't actually know what the enemy is in this room. Yeah. I didn't even know what I was what I was particularly fighting there. 
I do love the fact that we fire just an absolute barrage of freezing tears every single time, because there's just literally hundreds of these little buggers. I think 64 is the maximum, so we've probably got about 64 of them. Good, good. Don't think Mum's going to uh, be best pleased to see us. She was not. Down we go. Down we go. Right, half. Remember the half. I remembered this time. No point taking damage to that for no reason. Oh god, I've got so many worms with me as well. It's it's wild. Careful the lasers. <laughs> there's just there's a lot of enemies here that aren't gonna make a hell of a lot of sense to us because we just basically can't fucking see. Got a gulp in there. Back this way again. Ah, oh, come on. Don't don't do the womb thing and make us go the wrong way a bunch of times. You know you don't have to do that, right? You know you don't have to. I've, I've loved having flight this whole time. So, dude, why? The womb is a fucking foul mistress. Always with the wrong ways, man. Always with the wrong ways. Always. What did I just say? Always. I love the way you can move these enemies around even when they're invincible <laughs> with knockout drops. Literally when every single wrong way plausible there. That's uh, it's not great. I think our tiers have reached critical mass, like, size-wise, because now there's just shadows. Like, not all of them, but a lot of them are just shadows. Which is kind of odd, right? I see you, Key. Don't try to trick me. The amount of knockout drops we get is unreal. Again, wrong way here. Just keep, at this stage, just keep moving. Just keep moving. We can make it through pretty easily by gliding here. This is what a deleted run should be. I mean, I, I, I actually can't believe how, like, happy times this has been for us thus far. Just in terms of, like, we haven't, we didn't get a single item that completely ruined the run. I was a little worried when a bunch of those brains spawned in the room. I was like, oh no, is this going to happen on every item pickup now? Or is this going to happen on every room? But apparently the game blessed us with that not having been the case. Alright, boss time. It's Big Daddy Spider. Shouldn't be too bad. Although he's not dying because I'd have thought. He died pretty quick, but not as quick as I would have thought. Shot speed up, that does literally nothing for us. <laughs> right, next floor. Again, almost forgot about the half there. The half's important to remember. Hello, Gluttony, how are you? Dead, I presume. I really want to know what happened to my tears. It was very confusing when it just decided to switch over to, to whatever we've got going on now. Because I didn't pick up an item and then it switched. It just decided to switch. It must be like after so much time, after so many kills, something happens sort of thing. Also, it seems like the, the just random tears that were spewing out of us seem to have mostly dried up as well, which is interesting. I'm using kind of pop pop mainly now. My my freezer babies are uh, getting a bit strange. I do kind of like the horror Babylon thing though, as it gives us like a it gives us like a few seconds to assess the room. It's a little dodgy, but it kind of works. Oh my lord, the freezing. The freezing is beautiful. Once the freezing begins, it cannot be stopped. Go. 
go, go, go. We're getting gulps all the time as well, regardless of the fact we don't have any trinkets to for that to do anything with right now, but hey her if we find some. It's there. It's happening. Yeah, unfortunately, whatever was going on with all the tears shooting off before has stopped now, so we're not quite as dominating as we were pri prior, and I'm not quite sure why, but hey her, that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Luckily, I'm getting good stuns on you. Should be able to kill them before the next phase. Use my holy mantle again there, just in case. I was hoping not to have lost that holy mantle, but it is what it is. There you go. It was bound to happen at some point. Right, up we go. Not much more left. Remember the half. We remembered the half. Now we're gonna get through all of this. I think I think what's happened is something to do with my familiar limit has screwed up my tears. Because it seems that the more icicle babies I've got, the less uh, the less tears I'm firing, which is strange, but would stand to reason at the moment to, to be the only thing that makes sense. I think we've gone the right way here, which is always a nice start. Yeah, the freezer babies are, are pretty wacky. Oh, unfortunately, we've got a very annoying boss here. I'm going to put a bomb in there just to make our life a little easier. It didn't. Luckily, he died quick. Good old gulp doing its thing once again. Once we're fully charged up, we release a, a pretty potent shot. To really try and make sure we're fully charged before entering a boss room. Or any room, really. A little annoyed to be fighting this guy. I really do not fancy myself good against this dude. Luckily, he is an easy kill. Hey, I'm at a crown of light. That is... Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We can get behind Crown of Light for a bit of extra, bit of extra oomph. All right, how quickly will Isaac go down here? So we can't knock him back or anything really. Makes our job a little harder, but not impossible. Actually, we can knock him back. This it, this does make our job harder. I'm surprised I didn't kill him there. Very surprised. But he's dead now. Okay. Last floor, baby. Last floor. A winner of this character is something I was not expecting today. But one that I'm thoroughly enjoying. Right. What in the Lord the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm so confused. My tears change so regularly, it's it's so very confusing. I used the straw and it did some weird stuff. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah, there's some there's some strange stuff going on here. These fires are uh, quite something. Really not a big fan of this guy as a as a boss we have to fight here. Especially when it comes to these other dudes being around. I mean, I guess we'll destroy all the rocks if they're there. Why not? Okay. Hoping we can go the right way here. Okay. Hoping we can go the right way. 
obviously we can't go the right way. That would be too easy. That would be far too easy. God damn. This is so wild. Hey, that was an insta-kill on both of them there. Beautiful. We haven't needed HP in quite a while. I've been sort of waiting for when we need an next soul heart or whatever, and we just haven't for a long time. I think we are one soul heart down, actually. Which I don't know how that happened, because we've, we've had a holy mantle the whole time, I'm pretty sure. I'll go grab this one, but maybe I've been a, whole, a, soul, a soul heart down the whole time. I don't know, though. I'll have to go back and check. I don't remember when I was hit apart from losing my holy mantle. There's our boss, at least. Right, it's boss time, baby. It's boss time. Okay, that's first phase done without him even making an attack. That's pretty lovely. Again, second phase done nice and quick. Never really am sure what he's going to do here, but there you go. We did it, baby. And I didn't want to say it until it was official, but I actually think that was a no-hit run. I was only ever hit on my Holy Mantle one time, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to have to go back and check, but I'm almost certain that was a no-hit run. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed that. Perfect run. See you guys in the next one.